Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. If you like to support our channel, well, hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. So this fell all the way down to uh, 89.90. This is the lowest it has been for yeah, all the, go, all the way back to late February to see these levels again. So we may see this rally after a massive fall. We are still on the edge of being oversold. Technically, English otherwise are fairly bearish. So we did fall rally quite a bit and then gave most of those gains back. But if we stabilize here, then we may head towards the 20 exponential, probably the 50 before continuing lower. We are in a downtrend. And if you look at this long, we're still in a massive downtrend. And uh, this was just basically a massive rally. And now we're continuing this downtrend. If this continues, then we'll see higher commodities, precious metals and prices as they usually are negative correlated with the US dollar index. So let's look at oil. So oil continues to go higher and higher and higher. 20 exponential is basically the bottom of this market or as act, basically acting as the bottom of this market. So if we manage to break above this level here then we are most likely heading towards 70 so this is where we have been running into most of the problems at 66.43 uh, um and at the moment at the moment we are just heading into this triangle and we are very certain that we'll probably head above here and towards the 70 and then beyond that Every single time we have tried to break down, we have basically been bouncing off in this uh, this upper trend line. And uh, yes, that is an indication that we are slowly grinding towards uh, higher levels. Usually it just takes off when it breaks ab above here. If you look at technical English, we can see that the RSI is uh, bullish, the CCI is becoming bearish, the Kasich is bullish, and the MACD is bullish at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to um, trade in this range. We are at the highs of 2.9998, lows here of roughly 2.90. So break above here, opens the door to these previous highs at 3.09, and then break below here, the 20 exponential, the 50 all the way down here. But technically, the they are favoring the upside at this current stage. They are, uh, this is, Usually when it grinds like this to the side, it can kind of buys time and uh, builds momentum in order to go higher. So let's look at copper. So copper prices or just copper market is absolutely amazing at this point. It just continues to rally and rally and rally. We are overbought at this point, getting on the edge of being uh, at the top of the bullish band, but th that usually doesn't mean anything for copper because we can stay there for weeks and weeks and uh, then eventually do have pullbacks like this. But pulls towards the 20 exponential and the 50 have been massive buying opportunities for the last year. So we can go all the way back to uh, basically February last year when we bought them and we have bounced off the 20 and the 50 ever since so pull back from here we must likely do the very similar things technical negatives they are rsi is bullish stochastic is cci is bullish stochastic is bearish and our macd is bullish at this point so let's look at gold so gold as i said yesterday we are approaching uh, this very important area here we did break down towards uh, 1818 found support and then rallied again. But I kind of think that we're going to see a pullback towards the 20 exponential or 1800 before testing the 200 moving average. I would be surprised if we all of a sudden just rallied above the 200 moving average. One of the main reasons why I say that is because right at the 200 moving average, we find the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So if this breaks, we have the 61.8 and the 200 moving average right here rallies above here that opens the door in 1900 and then 1950 or or beyond that but we are on the edge of being overbought technical negatives are turning around and uh, therefore kind of expect this to pull back towards support and the 220 exponential before 
uh, gaining enough momentum to go to the highs. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar thing here. We are also on the edge of being overbought. The technicals are turning around and uh, pullback kind of is expected at the one point here towards the 20 exponential down at 26 to 46 before continuing higher towards these previous highs at the 20, uh, 28.24 and after that towards 30. So let's look at platinum. So platinum did fall towards support down here at the 20 exponential moving average and then continues to uh, continues to rally. So we did we are down a little bit, but we did pull back quite uh, quite nicely indeed. If you look at technical they are turning around, so we may see another run towards the 50 moving average before going higher. We are in a gradual grind to the upside, probably towards uh, 1300. But as you can see, MACD is turning around, Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So at the lows here, will mostly be the bottom of the bullish band, roughly at 11.73. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium also pulled back towards the 20 exponential and then rallied. And now we're back towards the 20 exponential. It'll probably build momentum and in order to pass 3000 if you look at technical they are all favoring the downside at this current stage but we also have been in a massive rally in this market all the way from the bottom here at the 200 moving average at 22.52 all the way up to 3000 so yes uh, a pause, pause in this market that could very well be where it'll go sideways and then rally above 3000 towards 3500 so let's look at aluminium so aluminium did fall yesterday, rally today, and then bank yet again broke towards uh, broke down. So at this current stage, I'm kind of expecting this market to roll over from here and head towards support at the 20 exponential moving average. Technical industry have been warning this market that they, that may happen. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is turning around, still in bullish territory, and we are significantly overbought. But looks like we are running out of the momentum here and the pullback is imminent so let's look at nickel that was wrong so nickel uh, broke down yesterday and rallied yet again today so if you look at technical indicators we can see the mac rsi is bullish the cci is becoming bearish the casting is flat and the macd is bullish at this point so there is room to the upside not a lot of room we're at 65 in the in the um, in the RSI and uh, we are fairly close to the top of the bullish band so so yes we may rally from here but I would prefer a drop towards the 20 exponential before going higher that would make more sense basically trading it here is way too risky so let's look at sugar So sugar has completely taken off yet again today. We are trading at 0 0.1808 and have gone past these previous highs here. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. We are on the edge of being overbought, but and we are also at the top of the bullish band. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential that will be uh, major buying uh, occurring at that point, as we saw right here. It basically bounced off the 20 exponential. Next target will most likely be the previous highs over here, and that is up at 0 0.1885. So let's look at cotton. So cotton uh, has pulled back towards support at the 20 exponential. If this holds, then we may see a rally up towards the previous highs here again at 0 0.9137. However, technical indicators are favoring the downside. So we may see this stay here for a while before catalyzing to the upside if we break the 20 exponential then we have the 50 and the bottom of the bullish band down here at 0 0.82 so let's look at cocoa so cocoa as i said yesterday this is all over the place it does not know where to go so there there are there are trends like this and this but there are no really trends there's just going sideways and one day, see, one day you can basically break down 7%, rally 7%, and 
is all over the place and therefore becomes absolutely a complete gamble if you want to trade this you should have um, take profit up here stop loss right underneath here and then just wait until you hit profit and just take profit in, in between but seriously it's it's in my world not worth it so let's look at wheat so wheat has taken off from the we didn't really get towards the 20 exponential as i hoped but uh, we did go towards these previous lows here so we got towards the 722 and then rallied we're trading at 743 at this current stage we are at 63 still room to the upside mac the all the technical indicators are fairly flat at this current stage so we may see choppiness still even though we saw bullishness today i would like to see this drop towards uh, 20 exponential and hold there and then then buy to the upside break below here opens the door to the 50 down to 661. so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and uh, good luck and thank you very much Thank you.